A very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hola to everyone here in Goa, tuned in and watching this broadcast, and to the people across the world. A very warm welcome to this evening's musical soiree and this live telecast and broadcast by Durdashin Panaji Goa and streaming on YouTube. Fundasau Orient in India and the heritage cell of the Rosary College of Commerce and Arts, Navili, is all set for where Qatar remembers a tribute concert. Performances by winners of the previous editions of Where Qatar, which celebrates 25 years of this Portuguese singing contest, which had its origins in the heritage cell of the Rosary College way back in 1998 and has grown since then. Today, let's fully experience the sounds and the culture come alive in this beautifully curated musical evening. I'm Irina Vaz, along with my colleagues, Elias Patel, Svetlana Pereira, and Alroy Fernandez, and our producer, Uday Kamat, along with the rest of the technical team, who will bring you these tete-a-tetes and little conversations over the strumming of guitars and mandolins of our winners of the previous editions. Standing at the lawns of the ESG complex where our contest is on today is Alroy Fernandez, who has a special guest with him. Over to you, Alroy. We are at the Entertainment Society of Goa, ESG, the Makinese Palace Auditorium here in the heart of Panjim, the capital of our beautiful Goa. And now let's check out our special guest with you, uh, with our uh, Alroy Fernandez. Over to you, Alroy. Well, hello, everybody, and a very warm welcome to all of you joining us to this live telecast from Doodarshan out here from Goa. We're in the lawns of the Entertainment Society of Goa because it's hosting a very, very special festival, a two-day special of the Venkanta Festival. Of course, today is a commemoration of all the artists who have won the performances over the past couple of years. And tomorrow, we're going to be having the competition, which will feature lots of talented artists who are going to be taking part. And of course, we are going to be covering it live, of course, from Doodarshan. Name is Alroy, and along with me, I have Irina, Svetlana, and Elias, who will be covering the events. Of course, we'll also be talking to all the participants out here and getting to know what makes them the champion. But before that, we are going to be talking to the director of the Funda Orient, Dr. Paolo Gomes, and ask him to take a little time to talk to us about this lovely event. Dr. Paolo, thank you so much. But I'm pretty sure you're excited to have the festival. What are your thoughts about the festival and how it's been over the past couple of years? Yeah, I shouldn't talk only about the, the two years. Uh, but uh, I have to talk about the last 25 years because today we are celebrating the 25th edition of Vain Cantar for us, not only uh, for Fundação Oriente and Rosary uh, College, but for the Goan uh, people. I think it's a very, very, very um, good achievement and we are very proud, very proud for it, about it. Uh, and uh, uh, all of us, uh, for sure, uh, are waiting for a great, great, great gig. Right. Talking about the gig, would you like to tell us and everyone else what can people expect over the next 48 hours? What have you planned for all of us? Well, uh, we have decided to invite uh, the previous winners of Vain Cantar because um, uh, the um, activity um, has been done by the singers so it makes sense uh, to have all the previous winners uh, with us this is the concept for for today for the vain cantar tribute tomorrow we will have the final of the 25th edition but uh, we are very exciting uh, to see all of the or pri uh, previous winners of uh, of vain cantar because all of them have a lot of talent, uh, a lot of them. All, some of them uh, have uh, a consolidated career uh, in Goa and in abroad, so we are very exciting 
uh, to see um, all of uh, all of the performance tonight. Most forward to today. <laughs> all of them. All of them. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Paulo. We will catch you sometime soon and have a wonderful festival. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. All right. And well, folks, that was uh, Dr. Paulo Gomes, of course, the director of Fundação Orient. And uh, we now go back to the commentary team. At this moment, we can see the inside of the auditorium at the ESG, the Marquinhos Palace. We have a full house and I can still see people streaming in. You just heard Aldroy speak to Dr. Paolo Gomish, director of Fundacion Orient in India, and he's so happy to host this wonderful evening of music. And I'm sure there'll be song and dance as well because I'm sure the audience will be so caught up in the moment, they may just feel like dancing. And uh, Dr. Paolo was talking about the 25 years that uh, the tribute concert we have supporting Govan musical talent for the last 25 years. As we go along this evening's program, we will be in conversation with a whole host of very young, talented men and women who have regaled audiences and become a name to reckon with in Portuguese singing after the great start they received at this uh, concert at Wang Qatar. Many of them have become well-known names in Goa's musical circles and also internationally. We had Fadishta, Sonia Sirsat, and Nadia Rebello, musicians Fran Schubert Kota, Orlando de Norona, Carlos Menezes, Siddharth Kota, Selvin Menezes, and Victor. And waiting outside for us is Elias with few more bevy of beauties. So it's Later on, uh, Nadia Rebello, Sergio, and Manuela Lobo. Can I have uh, the three of you share a little? For a while, and uh, I heard you're a big Whitney Houston fan. Uh, <laughs> that's great. Uh, I want you to tell us a little bit about your journey, how you got started, and of course, what you're looking forward to this evening. Okay, so um, do you want me to hold it? No, no. Okay. Portuguese Fado. Uh, Cantar has been very crucial uh, in my journey. Uh, it was my dad that inspired me to uh, sing my first Portuguese song. And every year I learned a new and it made me closer and closer uh, to the Fado, got me closer to the Fado. And my interest grew even more. And it's all because of the Wen Cantar. And I'm so happy to be here today. Um, after so many years, as a tribute to those days when we participated, and it was magical, those days were magical. And coming back and performing again, as in memory uh, of being a contestant, it's, it's beautiful. That's amazing, Nadia, and I'm sure your dad is going to be looking down with pride at his daughter. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Uh, if I can have you here, and I'll for those of you uh, who don't uh, Dauntless, right? Uh, big word, uh, many syllables on that one. But uh, for those of you who don't know, he's a man who looks after your teeth. He's a dentist, basically, by profession. Yeah, and uh, he's been performing right from the inception of uh, the Vem Kantar. And of course, uh, he was telling me a little bit about his journey. So, Sergio, if you would like to share it with our viewers, please. So, basically, I have, like I said, I've uh, sung with the Vem Kantar right from the time it was in Rosary College. They used to organize it in this college in Naveli. And then, obviously, the entire competition grew in leaps and bounds um, over the period of time. And for a long period, I was associated with this competition, always singing all sorts of different Portuguese songs to Bossa Nova, Gal Kosha, things like that. But uh, today, when I got this call, I was really apprehensive, I would say, A, because I've not sung like alone in a long time. But more than that, also because I had the immediate feeling to want to sing the Fadu just as an experiment, because it's something I've never done before. And so today I will be singing a fadu. And yeah, the nerves are real, but let's see how that goes. That sounds really great. I'm sure everyone is going to be looking forward to having you with us. Thank you, Sergio.
We have uh, Manuela Lobo. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Yeah, we had a bit of uh, <laughs> pronunciation check back there. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Manuela, and about your journey and how it's been for you and what you're looking forward to. Uh, sultry evening today. Hope it doesn't rain. Uh, but we have an auditorium full of people uh, who are looking forward to listening to you perform. Hi. So I, um, I'm not from a background of music per se, but it's always been a passion. It's always been um, something that, that has always um, helped me through a lot of my dark days. Um, I used to sing English, but then thanks to my parents, when uh, they traveled to Portugal, they were lovers of the Fado. They would bring down these, and somehow there was a song that I kept listening to, and I started humming. And my first one who actually pointed it out and said, Manuela, you can sing the Fado. I didn't know that there was something, it was just something that came naturally. I started off singing the Fado, I participated in these competitions when I was, I think, about 14, if I'm not mistaken, that's a long time ago. <laughs> and subsequently, um, Fado just became a part of my veins, a part of who I am. Um, and, and as Nadia and as Sergio have said, I think it's just marvelous having this tribute, coming back after so many years and being a part of this. Um, today. I'm doing something very different. I usually sing the Fadu. People usually have heard me sing the Fadu, so I thought I would change it up and sing something that's a bit lighter today. Uh, a little bit of a surprise. Wonderful. This and forward to seeing you perform. Well, um, you heard it from three of our guests who are going to be uh, performing. Three of our performers actually going to be here uh, on this wonderful Saturday uh, at the Marquinhos Palace. Right, folks, that was Elias talking to Manuela, Sergio, and of course, Nadia as well. Manuela Lobo, who hails from Mapsa, telling us about how her dad was inspirational to getting into the singing. And of course, uh, Fado is something that she loves, but she says that she's not going to be doing it today. That's something separate. And of course, we will have to see what she has uh, lined up for us. Uh, Nadia, of course, and Sergio were the other people who spoke to Elias. Sergio, who happens to be an orthodontist, has a wide range of uh, skills, so to say. Besides being an excellent dentist, he's also a foodie traveler and, of course, a singer as well. And Nadia, par excellence, is uh, someone who has been singing from the age of a young child and she got into music uh, because of her dad, who encouraged her to take part in music and of course from then on she's only gone on strength to strength even singing and performing when the uh, the president of Portugal had visited Goa uh, performing the national anthem of Portugal as well out here singing for the delegates and enthralling all the audiences with her wonderful voice and of course as you can see the people are coming in uh, thick and fast for this uh, concert which is going to be happening in a little while from now we're going to be having uh, lots of artists who we're going to be talking to uh, around 20 different artists are here today in this commemoration which is taking place 25 years being celebrated out here in Goa at the Entertainment Society of Goa and of course we're coming to you live courtesy of the Doodarshan and over the past 25 years the Venkanta, the Portuguese singing contest has attained a very important place in Goa's cultural panorama. It is an indispensable tool, it helps to put promote the Portuguese language and of course it also has ties between India, Goa and Portugal. Now the competition, the Venkantar competition is going to be happening tomorrow and that's going to see many different participants of different age groups and different categories uh, going head to head. That of course is going to be happening tomorrow at the Institute Menezes Braganza which is a little further away from where we are today. That is also an iconic place for Portuguese culture and of course music there's a bit of a museum is there which has lots of works of arts which depict different types of images of course from the Portuguese era and as you can see right now we have people walking in coming in for the program thank you Aldroy uh, 
as you just said that we have uh, people walking in and I can see a lot of uh, very familiar faces coming in. We are going to be starting shortly and we will get in touch and speak to uh, various other artists as we go along, uh, you know, after they uh, start performing out here. As you can see, uh, we said a lot of familiar faces, fans of uh, this music, the Portuguese music, Qatar, who over the years have been such an important part of this uh, concert. Several cultural bodies have been associated with this event, including Semana da Cultura, Indo-Portuguese, Siddhartha Goa, Club Harmonia, the Margao, Institute Camões, and um, the Consulate General of Portugal, the VM Salgonkar Hospitality Group, the D'Souza Group, among others. They've all uh, been such an integral part of Avec Qatar over the years. Started initially from the heritage cell of the Rosary College of Commerce and Arts in Navili, and it was integrated with uh, Fundaso Orient, and it has grown from that time, from 1998. Uh, and uh, today, as we remember this tribute concert, you know, 25 years, we've had uh, this wonderful program happening. And we are so fortunate that we get to speak to these talented youngsters. We just uh, could catch up with just a few of them, but Alra will tell you more about the rest of our artists. Uh, yes, folks, as you can see, people are coming into the Entertainment Society of Goa near the complex. We've got people filling up the auditorium all ready oh, and excited getting set to watch this wonderful concert. It's going to be starting in just a couple of minutes. As you can see, seated right in the front, you have Shervin, who is a uh, Shervin Korea, in fact, who happens to be one of Goa's uh, male fadishtas, who is a uh, who spoke to us a little while ago and spoke about his uh, journey as well into music, one of uh, Goa's only uh, male fadishtas out here. And of course, you also have accompanying musicians who are going to be performing today. You have uh, Mr. Carlos Menezes, who's going to be performing along uh, with the singers. We also have Franz Schubert Cotta and of course uh, Shadat Cotta who will be performing and we have uh, sitting next to Shervin the director of the Institute Kamoish who's uh, deep in conversation with of course excitement all ready and set for this event. And of course, uh, this festival, the Venkanta festival, the concert, which is going to take place, of course, is to make sure that there is a connection. There is a connection between the past and the present and, of course, the future generations as well. Various categories of young and old taking part in the contest, which will be happening tomorrow, of course, is exciting. It is also to encourage, to encourage the passion for the arts, of course, it's going to be taking place. Now, of course, uh, the Goan culture and heritage has been enriched with rich Portuguese influence and flavor in many ways. You can see architecture, cuisine, music, traditions, customs, along with our very own Goan uniqueness and this heritage which has made its way into our homes. It's a treat to the eyes with its collections which are unparalleled with objects of art, painting and of course so much more. The Portuguese father of emotive souls, tunes, renditions, describes longing and nostalgia. Portugal's musical pride, the history of Lisbon and Coimbra, which is considered a national treasure. Now off to Elias to tell us a little more about this wonderful concert that's all set to take place. 
Well, thank you so much, Alroy. Uh, yes, uh, we're all looking forward to it and uh, looking at the way the auditorium is slowly filling up on this lovely Saturday evening. Um, we're all set to start uh, right now, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be coming back very shortly. The celebration of the 25th uh, Venkantar, 25th anniversary. And to tell you frankly, I'm myself nervous because I've been there all these 25 years and I told Paul when he said you're going to compare, I, think, I, I think I'm going to feel all emotional. He said you cannot because you're going to compare. So I'll try my best. Uh, before we invite our artists, I would like to invite Dr. Paulo Gomes to address the gathering. Boa tarde, good evening. Excelentíssima Senhora Consul Geral de Portugal em Goa, Dr. Isabel Raimundo, distinto Senhor Diretor do Centro de Língua Portuguesa Camões em Goa, Professor Delfim Correia da Silva. Dear friends, this evening we have prepared an exceptional show on the occasion of the 25th edition of Vem Cantar. Besides celebrating the Portuguese language and culture, we are celebrating also the Goan talent. Indeed, the Goan talent was the main reason for inviting the previous winners of Vem Cantar to perform this evening. We reckon the best way to pay tribute to Vem Cantar will be to feature some of the great Goan musicians who have participated in these beautiful competitions over the years. An event such as this is only possible because of the efforts of an exceptional team. Therefore, I wish to thank firstly my colleagues Yvonne Rebelo, and Abigail Cabral. Thank you for all of your support. To Alison Quadros and Sasha Pereira from Rosary College, thank you for your outstanding, thank you for your outstanding partnership in organizing Vem Cantar over the past 25 years or performing musicians today they are somewhere else Frank Schubert Carlos Menezes and Cidade de Cota I have no words to thank you for your time and your commitment with us thank you Thank you, Nalini Souza, our presenter today. Please don't be nervous, okay? I also wish to thank the support of the General Consulate of Portugal in Goa, Centro de Língua Portuguesa Camões in Goa, Fomento Resort Staj Cidade de Goa, Salgoncar Institute of International Hospitality Education, the Souza Group, Center for Indo Portuguese Arts, Semana da Cultura Portuguesa. Makinês Palace and the social media. To all of you, I want to express my deep gratitude. Last but not least, a big, big thank you to all the previous participants of Vem Cantar, including, for sure, the singers of today's event. I hope you enjoy the gig of this evening. Thank you. The first performance of the evening is Nadia Rebil. And the first time she participated in Vencantar, 
She was 10 years old. This was back in 2006 in Club Harmonia, and she sang ABC do Coração. She participated many more times, uh, being the last one in 2011. And today, she is going to sing the fado she sang back then in 2011, Minha Alma, originally interpreted by Marisa. This was a fado that changed her life. So this particular fado means a lot to her. She loves to sing fados, so much so that in 2015, Nadia released her own CD named Fado Português. So let's welcome Nadia Rebelo with Minha Alma. A very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it makes me so happy to be here today to perform once again on the stage of Venkantar uh, in memory of the time when I was a participant. Those were some magical days, I must say. So like Nalini said, I will be singing Minya Alma, a song that meant or still means a lot to me because it's the song that opened up a lot of doors for me and uh, my musical career as a Fadishta started with this song. So this one's Minya Alma, and I hope you like it.
Muito obrigada. Thank you. Problem. So we just wait five minutes because we don't want to spoil Sergio who's coming next. Okay, so just wait. Just bear with us. Nadia Ravoello with that heartfelt rendition of Minya Alma by Marisa. What a performance. I'm sure everybody is spellbound at the moment. That's the magic of music, isn't it? Well, this concert, Ven Cantar, 25 years of commemorating this much anticipated Goan Portuguese singing competition, well, you can make out from the crowd gathered in the auditorium at the moment that this particular concert holds a special place in everybody's heart. And it's really very heartening to see the response this evening. And I'm sure everybody is set to have a great time this evening and be spellbound with the performance of all these stars over the last 25 years. And now, as we get ready for the next performance, uh, it is I mean, yes. something yes. about this particular evening, I think. Hello. Yes, Check. back to the Test. 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 Sorry for the interruption. So, Sergio Martyrs is our second performer. His first time in Ven Cantar was at Rosary College, Navalin, when Ven Cantar was still a small affair and the whole competition was held there in Navalin. And his first song was Minha Joia, that was taught by his mother. Then he participated many more times. And this year, Sonny Sirsat showed him different fados, and he liked this. Uh, in particular, Não Venha Estar, originally interpreted by Carlos Ramos, with lyrics by João Nobre. So, ladies and gentlemen, Sérgio Martins, Não Venha Estar. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is uh, honestly a privilege to be here. Um, this is such a big part of my childhood and such nostalgia to be singing again. Um, I honestly have to say that the nerves are really strong because I haven't sung a solo in a long time. And I've been over ambitious in attempting a fadu for the first time. So I hope you'll pardon me if I don't do perfect justice, but I'll try my best. This is now Veng Ishtard by Carlos Ramos.
fazer a lava Tu que me pedes baixinho Não vem estar E eu peço a Deus que no fim Teu coração ainda Doutor Sérgio Martírez, não venhas tarde. Doutores, nunca vêm tarde. Sempre vêm a hora. E, um, as we continue with this program this evening, it's such a beautiful evening. The weather also has been lovely, and the rain has held up, especially for this occasion, this evening. I think, what more can we ask for? We have beautiful music, beautiful fadishtas, singing their hearts out, especially for our listening pleasure. And, well, the ambience is just magical. Well, now I hand over to my colleague, Elias, as we get ready for the next participant, that is Manuela Lobo. Well, thank you so much, uh, Svetlana, for that uh, lovely introduction. Well, um, Sergio is, uh, for those of you who didn't know, uh, an orthodontist, uh, is a dentist by profession, and what a fantastic voice he has. Well, moving on to our next 
uh, performer Manuela. Uh, she hails from Mopsa, and of course, her father was uh, the inspiration beside uh, for her moving on to singing Portuguese songs. I just spoke to her a while ago, and she said uh, she started her singing career with English music, uh, but then her dad uh, went to Portugal some years ago and brought her a CD of some great Portuguese songs, which she really enjoyed listening to. And she thought, why not uh, start singing in Portuguese as well? And she's done such a fantastic job over the years. Um, it's going to be a real treat to watch her perform here on this lovely Saturday evening at the Marquinhos Palace. And uh, if you pan the camera around to the audience, you'll see so many um, you know, familiar faces uh, in the crowd uh, who are part of the audience today, some people who have traveled from far and wide. Uh, we spoke to some people uh, who have come from really, really far just to be a part of this today. All right, we're gonna be starting off. Well, of course, uh, you can see Carlos uh, Schubert uh, getting ready with the instruments for uh, Manuela's performance. It's absolutely a treat to be here this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, uh, and of course, Siddharth Kota as well. Uh, tomorrow, of course, is uh, the main contest that's going to be happening. Uh, today, uh, a lovely concert which uh, has been treated with a packed audience. Even though it's been a little rainy today, um, we've still had people coming to be a part of this, um, which which really shows uh, how how the music has grown. This evening is Manuela Lobo. She participated for the first time in Vencantar in 2004, 2005. She cannot precisely remember, but she does remember that the first song was Que Deus Me Perdo. And after that, she participated many more times, maybe three, four times, not exactly. The, but the, the, the times don't matter. We all know Manuela Lobo. Today, she's going to sing a Fado Tunino. Is an original by the group Dio Linda, who performed in Goa in 2011. I don't know how many of you were there when the, the Dio Linda performed in uh, Kala Academy. She particularly likes this fado because she's, she considers it as a, a lively fado. So let's welcome Manuela Lobo singing Fado Tunino. <laughs> Good evening. It is uh, very beautiful to be back on the Venkantar stage and to be a part of this lovely uh, tribute. I have always been used to singing the Fadu and I thought this time it would be lovely to change it up a little bit. Contrary to the title of the song, which is Fadu Toninho, it is not really a Fadu. So I hope you enjoy this. Dizem que é mal que fazia contas, arma confusão e o diabo a Os cabelos, borratos, os lábios Se não me seguram, bom e é forte e feio Beijinhos na boca, fios no peito E pagas as favas, eu digo enfim Meu rapazinho, és fraco para mim Oh, 
Oh, meu rapazinho, ai, eu digo assim, se não me seguram no cabo da ti. Fado Toninho, Manuela Lobo cantou, cantou melhor do que Deolinda. What a beautiful uh, rendition of that Fado, upbeat Fado Toninho by Deolinda. It's um, unraveling to be a beautiful Purita evening. Vaz. Purita participated for the first time when she was 12 years old. And back then she chose Loucura by Ana Moura. She likes to sing only Fados and was part of the first batch of Fado Goa, which is Sonia Sirsat's Fado School. The lyrics of the Fado she's going to sing today touches deeply, and it's with emotion she told me over the phone how the Fado ends. Se apoies um pecado, ter amor ao Fado, que Deus me perdoe. Manuela, your first Fado. <laughs> que Deus me perdoe was composed by Frederico Valério and Silva Tavares, and originally was interpreted by Amália Rodrigues. So let's welcome Purita Nelly Vaz singing the Fado, Que Deus Me Perdoe. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm immensely grateful to be a part of this once again, six years later. The song I'll be singing today is Que Deus Me Perdoe. I hope you like it. Perdoa. 
Obrigada. Que Deus me perdoe, that was Purita Nelly Waj. She describes herself as a very shy person, but what a splendid performance on the stage. I guess that's the magic of music, right? It just transforms you completely. That the first time she participated in Venkantar was 23 years ago in the Rosary College in Avelin, and she sang O Carol, of course, the Portuguese version. When she went to Portugal, she bought a CD of Marisa, which she adores. And she loves her style of singing, and one of her favorite fados is Rosa Branca, lyrics by José Guimarães and music by Rezen Dias. So, ladies and gentlemen, Ifigenia Miranda de Sá with Rosa Branca. Muito boa tarde. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Like most of my friends here have said, the stage brings back so many memories. For me, to a time when uh, we used to just pop up at Vekantar, um, because our school used to nominate our names, and we used to find one poor soul who had a guitar, who knew how to play the guitar, who we would go and ask, can you please accompany me right now? And they would willingly oblige and uh, Koj is one of them, I think, who's, who's accompanied me, uh, who's in the audience as well and who's going to be performing here like that, many others. So I have so many people to thank for, uh, you know, as I made my journey in the music industry. I'd like to sing Rosa Branca, a song that uh, sung by Marisa and uh, in 2010, I think, Manuela sang it. And I, I loved to hear her sing it and I thought I'd attempt it today. So I hope you all enjoy it. Rosa pei tu na roda Yo pai le con que cru Rosa al pei tu na roda E o pai lei com quem calhou Tantas voltas Vem bailando Que a roça Se desfolhou Tantas voltas Vem bailando Que a roça Se desfolhou Quem tem, quem tem a morra Se o jeito Colha a roça pra cá, ponha a roça Ao peito Quem tem, quem tem a morra Se o jeito Roseiro, Rosarinha, Roseiro do meu jardim, oh, Rosera, Rosarinha, Roseiro do meu jardim, se da rosas gostas tanto, porque não gostas de mim, se da rosas gostas tanto, porque não gostas de mim. Quem tem, quem tem, e a morra se o jeito Colhe a rosa branca, ponha a rosa ao peito Quem tem, quem tem, e a morra se o jeito Colhe a rosa branca, ponha a rosa ao peito
Muito obrigada. That there was Ephigenia Miranda with a wonderful rendition of Rosa Branca. Of course, uh, Ephigenia said that she's a perennial winner of this uh, competition, winning it in the years 2000, 2004, 5, 6, 8. The first time she sang in Venkanta was in 2010, and she interpreted that time, O Sol Chama Por Mi, by Mafalda Arno. Today she's here with us with a fado that she heard on YouTube, Boa Nova, originally interpreted by Amalia Rodrigues, lyrics, by, lyrics and music by Frederic Valerio. She did confess to me that she really likes Joana Amendoeira's interpretation. She loves the structure of this fado and she considers it different from the others. So let's welcome Minoshka Dias with her own interpretation of Boa Nova. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Nalini has told you all about me, but I just want to say one thing. Um, I want to dedicate uh, today's performance to my teacher who taught me Portuguese in school because I don't come from a Portuguese-speaking family. And she literally shook me up and she said, Minoshka, you can sing. You got to go and take part in Venkantar. And it is Professora Selina Almeida. I'm not sure if she's in the audience here tonight. She said she would try to make it. But if you are, thank you so much. Um, she didn't uh, tell me what to pick. She said, pick whatever you like. And I happened to pick a fado, a contemporary fado at the time. And uh, today also, I happened to pick a fado. Today, I'm going to sing Boa Nova. Hope you enjoy this one. Thank you so much. Uh, 
Unfortunately, uh, Ria Fernandes is ill, so she won't be able to join us. Our next artist is hidden there. Cosmo Sávio Araújo. He remembers his first Vem Cantar when he sang Rosinha dos Limões by Marcos Rodrigues in 2017. Then two years later, he performed something very different. Não há estrelas no céu by Rui Veloso. He is not the only one in the family who sings. He has encouraged both his children, Erica, 15 years old, and Nathan, 13 years old, to participate in Vem Cantar as well. I believe next year they will be there, Cosmo's children, both of them. Last time he participated in Vem Cantar was in 2020, with the song he is going to perform this evening. O Tempo Volta Para Trás, originally interpreted by Tony D'Amato, lyrics by Antonio Mourão, and music by Eduardo José Dantas. So let's call to the stage Cosmo Sávio Araújo with O Tempo Volta Para Trás. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Cosma Araúj, engineer by profession. My journey into singing in Portuguese began when I attended the Fado de Goa classes conducted by Ms. Sonia Shirsat and team. She opened my eyes to the beauty of the Fado and I have not looked back ever since. I'm happy to be singing in a language I love, in a language my parents would converse in. I'm going to sing O Tempo Volt Pratraj. I do hope you enjoy it. Foi-se embora O tempo pra mim parou O passado que foi com ela Para mim não mais voltou As horas pra mim são dias As horas pra mim são dias Os dias pra mim são anos Recordação é saudade Recordação é saudade Saudade são os enganos O tempo volta para trás Traz-me tudo o que eu perdi Tem pena e dá a minha vida A vida que eu já vivi O tempo volta para trás Mata as minhas esperanças Será que o amor, quando vai, não volta mais? Mas para mim a saber, mas para mim a saber, tenho ecos nos meus passos. Eu tenho a saudade à espera, eu tenho a saudade à espera, que ela volte para os meus braços. O tempo volta para trás. Traz-me tudo o que eu perdi Tem pena e dá a minha vida A vida que eu já vivi Ao tempo volta para trás Mata as minhas esperanças boas Vem que é teu próprio som Minhas esperanças boas Vem que é teu próprio 
próprio sol Molta todas as manhãs Vê que é teu próprio sol Volta todas as manhãs Obrigado. And our next performer is Daniela Fernandes. She has been participating in Vem Cantar on numerous occasions. Initially, she joined a member as a member of a group, but however, in 2014, something changed. And she began a journey that never stopped. So she continued to shine in 2015, 2016, 2017, till the organizers of Vem Cantar said, stop, stop, Daniela, don't, don't sing more enough. The Fernandes family, much like many of our own families, is often busy with work throughout the week. And uh, sometimes it is challenging to find time to come together. So in response, Daniela's father made a decision that every Sunday would be dedicated to listening to music together as a family. On one of these Sundays, they happened to fall upon the CD which includes the Fado Shuva by Marisa. Daniela says that till today, she gets goosebumps when she hears this fado. She fondly remembers about the first time she sang in a fado competition in 2017. She arrived late and hurriedly took the stage and the musicians asked her, Daniela, what key? Without missing a beat, Daniela, who had just rushed into the stage, simply said, Shuva, Shuva. And that year, she won the fado competition. So this fado holds a special place in her heart. So ladies and gentlemen, Let's welcome Daniela Fernandes with Shuva. A very good evening, everybody. Um, it gives me immense pleasure to stand back on the stage that literally panned out my whole life for me when it came to singing. And I am immensely grateful to a lot of people who have pushed me to do well, uh, especially my parents. I greatly miss... Um, Sonia Sirsa today because she was the one who uh, made me and told me, you know you can sing, just, just try. Uh, I'm also very grateful to Nadia uh, for pushing me to be who I am today. So uh, this is Shuva, I hope you like it. because they've always been there for me. I miss Orlan today. So, yeah. Thank you so much. And now we'll have Vania Maria Nunes, her first time in Van Cantar was in 2017 when she sang a song that you all know, Xerabem Xerá Lisboa. She also participated in 2020 and 2021, and today she's here to sing Fado de Portugal, interpreted originally by Mara Pedro, lyrics by José Luís Gordo, and music by José Fontes Rocha. She heard this Fado for the first time on YouTube, and she feels it's a beautiful fado. So let's welcome Vânia Maria Nunes with Fado de Portugal. Thank you. 
Well, good evening, everyone. I'm, in fact, very privileged to be a part of this tribute concert. Portuguese as a language holds a very soft corner in my heart. And what better way to express it than through a fadu? So here's Fadu Portugal. I hope you like it. performance of Vanya, we will take a short break of 15 minutes. Well, uh, it's time for us uh, to take a short break from the musical performances out here. Um, for those of you who've just uh, put those television sets on or are watching us uh, on YouTube. We are coming to you absolutely live from the Marquinhos Palace out here. The Ve Kantar, um, which is happening, and of course we've seen so many different people perform a whole range of artists uh, from different walks of life. Uh, some people, of course, doing it as, as a hobby, some doing it as a full-time 
um, a job and of course so many others just doing it because they love the passion um, that comes with it. Of course today uh, is the first day of a, a, a two-part uh, program that's going to be happening tomorrow uh, is uh, when we're going to also be broadcasting absolutely live uh, from the Institute Menezes Braganza around the same time. Uh, you can expect lots and lots of uh, great musicians performing tomorrow as well, which is uh, the 24th of September. Uh, it's been a it's been a long day today, uh, a weekend. Uh, it was a little rainy a little earlier on this evening, but it's great to see the auditorium filled up with so many people um, all here to be a part uh, of this lovely evening and so many different artists out here. Um, so the first half of course uh, was A very good evening to everyone watching our Vayankhantha tribute concert. So beautiful time that we had this evening. And with me, I have a very special guest, the Consul General of Portugal in Goa, Miss Isabel Raimund. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. And good evening. Uh, uh, Ma'am, you just enjoyed, I'm sure, a brilliant first half. What are your thoughts on 25 years of this cultural exchange? Yes, I'm so glad that uh, we have this, uh, this concert today, uh, reuniting uh, the, the, the winners of the, the, this contest from 25 years ago till now. It was a re real, uh, very beautiful celebration of youth, of talent, of uh, culture and the music and the Portuguese language together and also with the, the Goan element goes together in a very a very um, interesting uh, show. The, that's what you want here in Goa, um, the union of the people and the, with the art and the, all the elements together. And ma'am, at the consulate, you all are out there preserving this historic cultural ties between India, Portugal and Goa. What are your, do you have any plans, further plans, you know, to have something more on these lines like something that you saw today yes uh, we are we are um, launching a, a new initiative which which is the the moments of uh, indo portuguese culture that we are uh, beginning next week uh, i don't give we'll give uh, more details because we'll have the inauguration next friday so we'll talk about that on friday but it's in several months we have a series of uh, events that uh, um, show the Indo-Portuguese culture uh, in a um, um, gathering of wills between several institutions, uh, the consulate, the Fundação Oriente, the Center of Portuguese Language, and, and many going institutions of, of uh, Goa, uh, indeed to reinforce the ties between Portugal, India, and in particular case of Goa. And for that, uh, moments that are going to come up next Friday, we wish you the very best. Thank you for joining us today. Enjoy the rest of the concert. And I'm sure we'll see you tomorrow as well. Yes, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be there, of course. Of course. And all the young talent that we will see tomorrow. Yes. So, you know, so many more things can come out from what you see tomorrow. Yes. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Well, uh, you just heard Orina there uh, interviewing the Consul General of Portugal in Goa, uh, Isabel uh, Ramundo. Uh, and of course, like I said, uh, it's, uh, we're on a break right now. We just heard some amazing performances during the first half. Uh, we had some fantastic musicians who were showcasing their talents in different types um, from different walks of life. Of course, um, we're going to be starting very shortly with the second half. Um, but of course, we also have a few more people who we're going to be speaking to right now. Muito boa tarde, Sr. Delfino, Correa da Silva. Bem-vindo. E um, you are the director of Institute Camões e também é visiting lecturer at the Department of Portuguese and Lusophone Studies at Goa University. Well, I'm sure you had a brilliant time this evening. How, what 
what has been your experience i mean to say your feeling so far at the concert that you just attended commemorating 25 years of venkantar yes it's um, th yes it has been a wonderful concert and a beautiful evening event Uh, because in Goa we have this tradition of uh, organizing uh, contests of singing in Portuguese language, which shows that people are still uh, connect with the language. Um, and the um, Encantari has been one of the most important events in terms of uh, uh, culture and promotion of Portuguese language. And uh, it's like in Brazil, the carnival. Every time that you have an edition of Encantar, immediately students. Uh, teachers and families they organize immediately the next edition which means that it's very interesting to have all the people around on Vekantar and this concert of um, this tribute concert um, remember the 25th uh, years of Vekantar it's really a big um, a big, a big uh, um, to, a, a big meeting about um, uh, among all the people who are uh, here in Goa That's really nice to hear and I'm sure as you are uh, director of Camões what has been your experience I mean first ten about the presence of the Portuguese culture the Portuguese language in the day-to-day -day life of us Gons I'm to say do you feel at home back here in Goa or do you miss Portugal Well I'm a privileged because I live in two beautiful places I live in Portugal in the north of Portugal and I live uh, for almost al already 15 years in Goa. So I, I feel very, uh, at home. Uh, exactly, at home in Goa, uh, since I've been working, since I came in Goa in, at Goa University and here in Camões, uh, Central Lingua. So I, I will tell you frankly uh, that for me, it's quite uh, uh, interesting and it's very fascinating to, as I said, to be in such a beautiful place So this is why I, I told you that I feel a privileged person living in two beautiful places. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Senor da Silva. E, um, any plans for the future, some concrete plans that you are planning for uh, with regards to development of the Portuguese language, singing of course, but you know, when it comes to the language itself. Yeah, the future belongs to God or to gods. They know the future. We have dreams and we have plans, of course. We have projects. We, we still um, have this uh, big task of promoting Portuguese language, which is not from Portugal. It doesn't belong only to Portuguese. So fortunately now we have this uh, perspective of Portuguese is a pluricentric language spoken in very places in the, in the world. And in Go it makes sense because uh, it's a history. It's the architecture, it's the monuments, it's the traditions, it's singing, Fado in Goa, which is really amazing. Well, thank you so much. As you said, it's so much part of us, you know, and something that we've got to be grateful for, I guess, and makes us Goa and Goans what we are today. So thank you so much for joining me. This Movrigadi Vatarda to me. Contributory words from the director of Institute Camões, the institute that promotes the Portuguese language in Goa and elsewhere. These are two of the organizations that are prime movers with most of the cultural organization that happens in and around Goa, also in other lusophone areas. The Fundação Orient, which is the prime organizer of this concert. We're performing out here tonight at the Venkanta Tribute Concert. Of course, first up, I have perennial winner Ephigenia Miranda, who's been winning this uh, competition for five, four years and in first place in 2000, 2004, 5, 6, and in 2008 as well. You've got to tell us what is the secret to your success? Uh, well, um, it was just constant family motivation. Uh, very primarily my grandmom who who got me started into um, you know singing Portuguese and uh, of course coming from a Portuguese speaking family it made it a bit easier uh, but uh, yes it was that and 
like I said, constant practice and the simplicity of things back then. Things were much simpler, things were more innocent and, you know, they were more for fun, less competitive. So, yes, so that is what uh, helped me go through those many years. How was it singing back once again after all these years? Oh, it felt amazing. Uh, it, it felt so good to be back on the stage that uh, I can proudly say opened up uh, my career into the music industry. Um, the, the popularity that I gained, the, the recognition that I gained in this industry has been because of uh, Venkantar organized by Fundusan Orient and I'm forever grateful to them. Yes. All right, thank you so much, Effie. We also have with us a very young, talented Purita who has also uh, sung a fado, beautiful fado. So, fado, in fact, in Portuguese means destiny or fate. So, what was your destiny towards coming to this competition and singing? So, I was a kid who was always very shy. Okay, no one in my family knew that I liked to sing. I myself didn't know I liked to sing. Until the year came in 2016, when my cousin Daniela, she was taking part for Fadu, the concurso of Fadu. And uh, she was filling her form, I remember. And she was like, I'm filling my form, I'm going to fill your form too, and we're both going to take part. And uh, that year, I won the third place. Now, the next year, my journey with Venkanta started in 2017. And once again, me and my cousin, we both took part for it, and we both won the first place together. So, it was the first time I ever took part for Venkantar and winning the first place made me feel so wonderful because I was always this shy and underconfident, couldn't believe myself type of a person. But um, the moment I won the first place, I couldn't, I couldn't believe I won. And right now, that win has made me what I am right now because it gave me the confidence that I really needed. So how would you say it has changed your career path? My career path. So right now, I am a vocalist. I sing. I sing in languages like English, Konkani, Portuguese, of course. For my gigs, sometimes I also sing Portuguese. And um, I'm part of a duo band. I do gigs and I sing. So. Yes. So uh, thank you so much, Purita. And the person who was the inspiration to getting Purita is, and she said, her cousin, Daniela. Daniela, hi. Nice to see you after your performance. Well done. Well sung. But there is something odd. You don't really speak the language, but you sing it so well. You started singing at the ripe old age of 15 years, and it's been an upward trajectory since then. Tell us all about it. Um, so. Before me getting into Weng Kantar, I never sang at all for any singing competition because I didn't have the faith in myself to do it. Uh, Weng Kantar was the first stage I ever took part in uh, and it started with Portuguese singing. So uh, my uh, headmistress of my high secondary, she just came up to me and she said, you know, there's this competition, you have to take part for it. And with zero faith in myself, I was like, okay. Uh, and it was from then on I had the support of really amazing talents in my life like uh, Sonia Sissert, like Nadia Rubello, who were there constantly motivating me, pushing me to uh, learn and do better. And they were the ones who used to also help me with pronunciation because, you know, uh, we never spoke the language very fluently. And that's how I got into Venkanta. So how has that changed? Uh, you have a now career in music, right? Uh, I do have a career. I mean, it's yes, I can consider it as a career. Uh, uh, I used to sing for a band before. Now I have taken the back seat because I'm pursuing my PhD in psychology. And um, as for music, uh, the only thing that I have with me now is my own choir, uh, which we sing in church for. So, yeah. All right. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. And we go back to our commentary team. Thank you. Vang Kantar, such a beautiful platform that unites all of these wonderful, wonderful voices. People from all walks of life, students, adults, but all united by a common love of Portuguese music, Portuguese language. And music is so evocative, so is language. Uh, both are great uniters um, of love, of interest, but also great instigators of nostalgia of a time when things were different, as Ephigenia said, and you heard her say that. Um, Vainkantar, which literally means come sing, has been providing this platform and will continue to do so for many, many generations of singers to come. 
Well, we have Manoshka Diyash with us, well, a former Venkantar winner. And Manoshka, lovely to have you. I'm going to say what a splendid performance you gave on the stage this evening. It was really a pleasure. How are you feeling? I mean, the butterflies, everything including, but overall, what, is, what are your feelings? Nostalgic, really. Very nostalgic because I started my Portuguese singing career with Venkantar. Like I said, I didn't really speak it before, but... Um, upon um, a lot of support by my teacher, by Sonia and by so many other people, I took up singing Fado more than any other types of uh, songs in Portuguese. So I'm glad I took it up that day and I'm glad I took the chance of taking part in Venkantar. I won it, so I'm really happy and very nostalgic. That's really nice. I mean, I'm sure that most of the contestants this evening, the performance especially, you know, they owe a lot to Sonia. She has been instrumental and really a real brand ambassador for Fado and Portuguese music in Goa. And you sing Mando as well, right? I mean, do you find any similarity between, you know, the feelings that are involved singing a Fado and Mando as well? I do, actually. It's one of the reasons... I felt drawn to Fadu. Like I said, for Venkata, we didn't really have to sing a Fadu. But when I was uh, looking at stuff, I came across the Fadu. And uh, there is similarity. It usually talks about uh, a longing. You know, the lyrics are about longing, about love, about uh, sometimes nostalgia. It is. So the um, concepts are similar. So although uh, I did not fluently speak it, but the music really spoke to me because uh, it's hauntingly beautiful, yes. hauntingly beautiful. Yeah, that's the magic of music, isn't it? It doesn't really need the words, but the melody itself is just enough to draw you in. Anyway, Manoshka, wishing you all the very best on your musical journey, and thanks once again for joining us this evening. Well, many of the songs that you heard today were fadush, and the fadu is the semi-classical form of Portuguese folk music, um, a lovely and a very common and a very widespread practiced type of music across Portugal and so also in Goa. Well, uh, we have one more person who we're going to be speaking to. Uh, we have Cosme Savio Arau. She was absolutely brilliant. Uh, we saw you in performance. That was a really, really stupendous performance. Uh, we really enjoyed it. We were, in fact, singing along with you to the little that we knew. Can you tell us a little bit about your journey, Cosme, and uh, how you've evolved over the years and what it means to you? Yes. Uh, I used to sing as a child uh, in school, in college, uh, in my local church. I was part of the choir. And it went on for some time, but there was a 20-year gap as work commitments, family, career took over. Then in 2017, I attended the Fadu Dugova classes conducted by Ms. Sonia Shirsat. And there's been no looking back ever since. Um, happy to be singing in a language I love, Portuguese. That's the language I associate with my parents, actually, my late parents, which they used to sing in. Um, I'm still very much committed to what I do in terms of work, so time is a little tight, but I do manage to practice sometimes on my way back home, on my car, late nights, early mornings, it's always there. And um, how I approach the music is, since I'm not absolutely fluent in Portuguese, I find, I find out the meaning of the song, the literal meaning, what the singer is trying to convey, and I write down the lyrics in Devnagri script which is, uh, you know, very good for uh, phonetically to get the pronunciation. So that has worked well for me and a bit of work thrown in. So here I am today, happy to have sung in front of such a wonderful audience. Thank you so much. It was great having you with us and we hope to see you again very shortly. As Fado Carioca by Amalia Rodrigues, lyrics and music by Amadeu Augusto Santos and Frederic Valerio. She loves the part of the lyrics with all the fruit in it. And I'm telling you, it's quite difficult. I'm going to read for you. Hope it comes out well. Com sambinhas e mudinhas, abacate, vitamate, guaraná, maracujá e caruru, com cocada, batucada, para ti, abacaxi e goiabada, o fado é bom para chuchu. I don't know how she's going to do that, but she will. Anquita sembrando rego with fado chuchu. Hello? Yes. Olá a todos. Um, bom, boa tarde. 
Uh, first and foremost, I would like to say a big thank you to Fundasauriyan for providing us with this platform that we can project our talents and our voice. And also a big thank you um, to uh, Nalini, who's been with me, as she said, from the beginning. And till today, I suppose, as going forward. So as she mentioned, I'm going to be singing the song Father Shushu by Amalia. I hope you like it along with me. Fado coração bizarro, doce seu mar, todo trocheiro. Ela foi com a guitarra até o Rio de Janeiro. Fez uma fadista atrevida, não deste medo. E da tal marca que até já é conhecida. Pelo fadista ao nosso zarca com sal, vinhos e motivos a bacana. O porto cozinha da rasa bebe cachaça com a pipoca e no café também passa por cidadão carioca. Às vezes vai a favela, calça chinela, todo se vapa. É o fado cansal singela, a cara e todo o samba com o som. Pinhos e motivos, abacate, pita, mato, guaraná, baraco, já e cararu. Com cacada, madrugada, para ti, abacaxi, coia, bata, o fado e bota pra chuchu. Obrigada. And thank you to our musicians as well. I see you don't know how you do it. I can't do it. Um, our second performer for the second half is uh, Rishona Danica Gomes. She is not new to Van Cantar. She has participated numerous times, and in her first appearance in 2017, she chose Maria Lisboa. But today, she is going to sing Fado Distraído, originally interpreted by Beatrice Felizardo, which she sang in her last appearance in Van Cantar in 2022. Lyrics by Tiago Torres da Silva, music by Manuel Graça Pereira. A warm welcome to Rishona Danica Gomes with Fado Distraído. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I would like uh, to, first of all, I am honored to be performing here tonight. And uh, first, first of all, I would like to thank Ma'am Sonia Sisat. She has been a guide and support to me since I was small. And also, Sir Kalush, he has been accompanying me on the guitar since I was eight. So yeah, uh, I'm going to be singing Padu Dishtra Idu. Hope you enjoy. Depois 
Navigas que se oxaila Ai, pobre de mim Que por ser assim Não há quem me levou baila Ai, pobre de mim Que por ser assim Não há quem me levou baila Nem reparaste no meu vestido Nem me disseste que eu estava linda Dizes que tenho ar distraído Mas acho que tu és pior ainda Nem reparaste no meu vestido Nem me disseste que eu estava linda Dizes que tenho ar distraído Mas acho que tu és pior ainda Dizes que tenho ar distraído Mas acho que tu és pior ainda The third performer is uh, Siddharth Kota, who has been here with us all along, so he doesn't have to come on to the stage. Uh, Siddharth has been participating in Event Cantar for almost 20 years, and back in 2004 he sang Vagabundo do Mar from the album of 1997 with the same name by Carlos Mendes. This evening he is going to perform another song by Carlos Mendes. Eu vi as águas, os cabos, as ilhas, written and composed by him, Carlos Mendes. This is the song he sang in his third participation in Vem Cantar in 2006. Siddharth loves Carlos Mendes' voice, his musical arrangements, and he says that he touches his soul when he sings these songs. So let's hear Siddharth Cota, Eu vi as águas, os cabos, as ilhas. During the interval, someone came up to me and said, Siddharth, we've come here all the way just to listen to you sing, not to listen to you talk, so please don't say anything. So, so I'm going to get right to the song and hold back on all the lovely things I had to say. Vi 
as águas, os cabos, vias ilhas, longo balões sardos, coqueiras, e lagunas azuis, como safiras, rápidas aves, furtivos animais, e prodígios e espantos, maravilhas, vi homens nus, bailando nos areais, eu vi o fundo som das suas falas. Que já nenhum de nós entendeu mais Vi feros e vi setas e lanças Oiro também a flor das ondas finas E o diverso fulgor de outros metais Vi pérolas, conchas, vi corais Desertos, fontes, trêmulas, campinas Vi o rosto de Euridi Há das neblinas Vi o frescor das coisas naturais Só do presto João não vi sinais Vi as águas, os cabos Vi as ilhas O longo balões sardos, coqueirais Vi lagunas azuis com safiras Rápidas aves, furtivos animais Desertos, fontes, trâmulas, campinas Vi o rosto de Eurídice Há das neblinas Vi o frescor das coisas naturais Só do presto de um ano não vi sinais as ordens que levava não cumpri E assim com tanto tudo quanto vi Não sei se tudo errei ou descobri Não sei se tudo errei ou descobri Não sei se tudo errei ou descobri Cidade, I have a surprise for you. Are you there? So the way you spoke about Carlos Mendes really touched me also. So uh, what I did is I went on Facebook, I googled Carlos Mendes, and I saw that Carlos Mendes and I had a common friend. His name is João Carlos Calisto, who works for RTP. <laughs> and I said, can you please put me in touch with Carlos? I said, yeah, 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 I'll do it. So I spoke to Carlos. And he sent you a personal note, a message for you, yes. <laughs> so I'm sorry, my audience who doesn't know Portuguese, but I will have to read the note in Portuguese, OK? So it says, Caro Siddharth Cota, é sempre uma alegria saber que as minhas canções são apreciadas por outros colegas de profissão, sobretudo quando esse colega está longe. Goa, essa terra encantadora, pertença de grandes músicos e de grande gosto pela música, onde já tive o prazer de cantar. Afinal, caro Cidade, somos irmãos, filhos de uma mesma mãe, a música. Imagina que estou aí a ouvir-te e que no final da tua interpretação suba ao palco para te dar um abraço fraterno no meio de fortes aplausos. Quem sabe se um dia isso não acontecerá? Nesse dia, seremos felizes os dois e cantaremos a uma só voz. <laughs> and the uh, uh, next performer is Tahira Maria Rodrigues. She first participated in 2013 and then 2014 and 15. And she chose for this evening So Bodo Casa from the album Sem Parar, 
by Joana. Now, this is the same song she sang in 2013 and with the same dress. <laughs> so, here is Teire Maria Rodrigues with So Boa Dona de Casa. <laughs> Muito de limpar, limpo tudo muito bem para eu não marear. Estrego tudo com jeitinho para não estregar tudo aquilo que é belo. E eu preciso estimar. Ai, eu cozinho bem. Ai, eu sou muito aplicada. Ai, eu dou tudo de mim porque sou muito prenada. E ela pensa bem que eu sou a enfiadinha. Faz tudo com jeitinho. Ai, eu cozinho bem Ai, eu sou muito aplicada Ai, eu dou tudo de mim Porque sou muito prenada E ela até sabe bem Que se vai enfiadinha Faz tudo com jeitinho E sou muito rapidinha Porque pego nos fragões Eu fico bem molhado Estrego tudo com jeitinho Para não estregar Tudo aquilo que é dela E eu preciso estimar Ai, eu cozinho bem Ai, eu sou muito aplicada Ai, eu dou tudo de mim Porque sou muito prenada E é na festa bem Que sou vai fiadinha Faz tudo com jeitinho Samaira Nadia Furtado. She was eight years old when she stepped onto the Van Canta stage singing Encosta Tua Cabecinha, a song taught by her grandmother, whom she affectionately calls a vozinha. While searching on YouTube for new songs, her uncle drew her attention to the song Pica do Sect, sang originally by Antonio Zambujo, lyrics by Miguel Araújo, from the album Rua da Emenda. She immediately took a liking to it, and due to its musical variations. So let's listen to Samaira Nadia Furtado singing Pica do Set. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's such an honor to be performing here today. Officially, it has be been 10 years since I've stepped on the stage. And I haven't looked back since, and now here I am today. So the song that I will be singing is Pika the Seth. Hope you all enjoy it. Eu creio, mas o certo dia viu o 
passar Se o meu peito cético rompe cada elétrico ao outro a sonhar Na cada rapica que soa tão clica aquilo ali cá Nenhum modo frenético o peito cético toca repate se eu trem descarrilho, pobre filho, eu fico no sinho. Pois o mero trajeto numa casa concreto já o destino. Nega acredita, está com e que fica o meu coração. Quando cede minha pena, até acho que só minha Perguntaste se é livre a paz para peito de alguém Vá-se lá saber, talvez te oblite de peito também Ninguém acredita em estar com o que fica o meu coração Quando cede minha pena até acho que só não me salta de mal Unfortunately, our Carl Noronha Menezes is ill, so he won't be able to sing today. So we'll go for our next performer. My memories of our next performer, Mia Coutinho, is seeing her so small with her ukulele on stage, much bigger than this, okay, in Menezes Braganza, only her and her ukulele, which is an amazing sight and impossible to forget. She was 10 years old when I saw her first. And today she will sing Saber Quem Sou, which is an adaptation of the song How Far Will I Go from the movie Moana, and originally sang by Annie Gabrielli. This song is very special to her because it's the song she, she, she sang when she was 10 years old in uh, Vancanta. So welcome Mia Kuting with Saber Quem Sou. Good evening, everybody. Um, I remember the first time that I participated in Ve Kantar. I was nine years old and I sang the song Saber Queso. So I'm singing it again and this is kind of a full circle moment for me. Uh, that was one of the earliest performances that I remember doing. And so that's why 
this competition, Ve Kantar, and that performance holds a very special place in my heart. So I'm very happy to be here, and I hope you enjoy. Aqui, sempre, sempre pirada água, desde quando me lembro, não consigo explicar. Tento. Swara and Shrusti Prabhu Desai. They will be the only duet for this evening. Swara and Shrusti have performed solo and as a duet in Venkantar a couple of times. In 2019, Shrusti went to Portugal on an exchange program by her college, Chogulé, with the support of a scholarship by Fundação Orient. And there, she heard Melim Group with the song Ouvi Dizer. In 2021, both the sisters participated in Venkantar, but due to the COVID situation, the preliminaries were not held live. The participants had to record their song and then send to Fundação Oriente, and then the Fundação Oriente would turn, in turn send to the, to the judges. So because of that, they decided why not to sing it live? So today we are going to hear Ovi Dizer and, uh, by Swara and Shusti Prabhu Desai. Ovi Dizer. By the way, these two beauties also sing Fado very, very well. I've seen them uh, in Cidade de Goa. So first Tuesday of every month, Cidade de Goa in the restaurant Alfama, they have a Fado evening. So I've seen them both perform and they are amazing. Amazing, really, <laughs> with Sonia Sirsat. Our next participant, Sherwin Philippe Correa. So those who have been in SIPA, Center for Indo-Portuguese Arts, have certainly heard Sherwin Philip Correa singing Fado. So you must think, oh, he's going to sing a Fado today also. But uh, nope, he's not. Uh, he chose Locus de Lisboa, which he sang for Van Cantar the first time he participated in, in the competition in 2012. And uh, this is why, uh, this is by the group uh, Ala dos Namorados, certo? And it's a very special song. It is actually to me also is very special because the first time this song was performed during Van Cantar was in a competition 23 years ago in Rosary College by one of my students, Anushka Sapeco. So this was the same year that the founder of Van Cantar, Newman Fernandes, also announced that in the future we would also have groups. So you see, Locus de Lisboa is really special. So ladies and gentlemen, Sherwin Philippe Correia with Locus de Lisboa. Check. Boa tarde, chamo-me Sherwin Correia. Vou cantar Os Locus de Lisboa. And that's all the Portuguese I know. Uh, I dedicate this performance especially to my mama and papa. Uh, who have taken all the effort and made all the sacrifices to take me to all the practices and make me the musician I am today. I thank Sonia, Efigenia, who taught me to sing the Fadu. Uh, Prim Silvan, who suggested the Fadu to me. If 
here or somewhere around. And Kalush, who was the judge for my first Venkantar, and I came last. <laughs> <laughs> hope you enjoy it. And hope I remember the words. Parava no café quando eu lá estava Na voz tinha o talento dos pedintes Entre o cigarro e outro lá cravava bica Ao melhor dos seus ouvintes As mãos e olhar de mesma cor Cinzenta como a roupa que trazia No gesto que podia ser de amor sorrir e ao partir agradecia São os loucos de Lisboa Que nos fazem duvidar Que a terra gira ao contrário E os rios nascem no mar Sem duvidar que a terra gira ao contrário E os rios nascem no mar São os loucos de Lisboa Que nos fazem duvidar que a terra gira ao contrário E os rios nascem no mar Ginel Fernandes. She participated in Vem Cantar, being a part of a group in 2015. And then she participated a couple of more times, but her first solo was in 2019, with the song she will perform this evening. Quando a Chuva Passar, sang originally by mm. Yvette Sangalo, lyrics by Ramon Barreto Cruz, and uh, she told me on the phone she just loves the lyrics of this song. So let's welcome a uh, Ginelle Fernandes when the chuva passar. Eu 
sou céu e mar, eu sou céu e vir. O meu amor é imensidão. Quando a chuva passar, quando o tempo abrir, abra a janela e beijo. Eu sou o sol, eu sou céu. Só quero te lembrar de quando a gente andava nas estrelas, nas horas lindas que passamos juntos. A gente só queria amar e amar, e hoje eu tenho certeza a nossa história não termina agora. E essa tempestade um dia vai acabar. Quando a chuva passar, quando o tempo abrir, abra a janela e beijo e eu sou o sol. E eu sou céu e mar, e eu sou céu e vir. O meu amor é imensidão. Quando a chuva passar, quando o tempo abrir. Abra a janela e beijo e eu sou o sol E eu sou o céu e mar E eu sou o céu e vir O meu amor é imensidão Quando a chuva passar Quando o tempo abrir Abra a janela Eu sou céu e mar, eu sou céu e vir O meu amor é imensidão O meu amor é imensidão Obrigada Are reaching to the end of this celebration, the 25 years of Encantar. And uh, to close this circle, we have to end with the same artist that started this concert. So, can I invite Nadia Rebel once more to end our concert? She was going to sing Maria Lisboa for us. <laughs> Hello again. I will be singing Maria Lisboa. It was one of the fadus that I always sang when I was a child and was asked to sing a song at home or whenever I visited someone. So here's Maria Lisboa.
now I would like to invite uh, Dr. Paulo Gomes, director of uh, Fundação Oriente in India, to Galen our wonderful musicians, Carlos Menezes, Frank Schubert Cotta, and, and Schubert Cotta. And Siddharth Cotta. Muitos Cotas e muitos Schubert. Thank you so much for being here today. It's not a joke to be here for two hours accompanying all our musicians. Thank you so much. And we, we cannot end this concert without a uh, few words of our chief guest, the Consul General of Portugal in Coa, uh, Isabel Raimund. She will come here now to address us. Good evening to all. Dear Mr. Paulo Gomes, director of the Fundação Oriente, dear uh, uh, Mr. Delphine uh, Correia da Silva, director of the Center of Portuguese Language, dear Nalini, uh, of, of all ladies and gentlemen and uh, friends. I had prepared a, a short um, words to say today, but I think I won't uh, use it because uh, I'm so deeply touched um, uh, with uh, this, um, the, <coughs> the efforts and the ability of these young people to, to um, sing in Portuguese without not being, uh, most of them, na native, uh, na native uh, Portuguese uh, spoken, um, that... Um, I want just to congratulate them. I was uh, very touched. Uh, it, it's such an honor to hear these musics, these Portuguese musics, which go from the fado to other kinds of Portuguese music to Brazilian music. I noticed we have three continents here reunited. Let's hope next time we'll have the four continents of uh, uh, where is the Portuguese is spoken. And uh, I want to con just congratulate them. The, the feast is yours. It's not ours. It's, uh, it's of, of you all and of the public and all the um, interest you show for our country and our language and with all the talent you ex uh, exposed today. So congratulations. And I just want to ask a big applause to them. Now we end the celebration, 25 years. But I want to invite you, all of you, to come tomorrow for the real competition in Menezes Bragança at 5 p.m., okay? Don't forget, be there with us. It's going to be a great competition, as always.